you guys, hello, welcome to downtown Chicago. Today, it's 1.30. I have not eaten any food yet today, and that's because today is gonna be an absolute marathon of eating. I'm going to a grand opening of a coffee shop that's paired to a smoothie restaurant that was killing it in the South Loop and is now in River North, but they also serve pizza and pasta. I, I, don't, I don't know. What? Issa, the owner of Crave Kebab, who I'm working with, is friends with Candace and Los, who own Smoothie RX. They know I'm a YouTuber, they know I'm a coffee guy, they know I'm a food guy. So they said, just come by, we'll treat you to some fun stuff, and you can just like give us our take, and we'll just like immerse you in it all. Are you Candace? I'm Sean. It's nice to meet you in person. Hey, Sean. How are you? Good, 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 good. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you. You kind of seen it online. I know, but it's better in person. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. So Smoothie RX was in the South Loop for the last couple of years, and they are now in the heart of River North, and this business is kind of broken up into four sections. This is around the world coffee where you can sit, hang out, grab a bunch of food and beverages. This area right here where you order, obviously, you get it. This is the seating area for Smoothie RX itself, and then right here is where you would order, you know, acai bowls, smoothies. I've never been treated this well with coffee or anything, so this is so cool. Thanks, Eve. She's here from Ireland. We're like probably related. <laughs> In the comments, make sure you say hi to Eve. Okay, what do we got here? So this first one is a caramel macchiato. So it's a shot of espresso and a shot of caramel. And then we have the cinnamon roll latte. Then we have the mocha macchiato, chocolate flavored. And then we have hazelnut matcha latte. So a matcha latte with hazelnut syrup. Incredible. So you can get, you can come here, you can get this and uh, try a little bit of it all. And it kind of equals out to like 16 ounces. So you won't be up till next Thursday. <laughs> Half the employees in this building have been made up. This office is a goddamn ghost town. Stir. Oh, okay, so I stir, like, stir each one. All right, we're gonna start with caramel macchiato. I'm gonna go down the line, a little stir. This magic moment. That's uh, ridiculous. <laughs> it's so good, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so good. Wow. It is ridiculous. It's also not like overpowering caramel. Like, sometimes you'll get drinks and it's just like a sugar bomb. Great balance, beautifully made, delicious. It's gonna be tough to top. Cinnamon roll latte. I dabble in some cinnamon rolls. And so when I got it in my drink, yeah. I like naturally put the pinky up. Did you see that? Who am I? Oh, that's so great. Also so balanced. Like, I don't wanna say tame. It's just, I hate, like, when I was in high school, I used to get that like double fudge brownie blast from Starbucks. Damn near killed me. Uh, so it's nice to actually have good coffee. We get it. But you're not gonna be like, feeling like someone injected it into your neck. <laughs> That makes sense. We get it. Mocha macchiato, which, this is the one that really caught my eye. Yeah, okay. Now we're saying something. Now we're really saying something. Oh my God, it's so good. That's my favorite so far. I, I absolutely love that so, so much. And then hazelnut, matcha latte. I don't drink a ton of matcha. Like, my wife loves it, loves it, loves it, gets it, makes it for me. I'm such a little baby about making it, but when I have it, love it. Oh, that's not supposed to be that good. Absolutely amazing. These are great. I also am like one of the most indecisive people when it comes to coffee. Like, unless I'm just drinking like jet black, dark coffee, sure. But whenever I want to get something fun, I panic at the menu. So this solves that problem and keeps it dancing. You know how I like a lot of bites? I always want a lot of different sauces and bites. This is that in drink form. A plus. Damn, it's so good. It's so good. I drink way too much coffee. I just, I look over, right, we're talking, you know, I'm a salty food boy. I'm drinking these amazing coffees, and then I, there's just a plate of Alfredo next to me. <laughs> Should I try that? Oh my God. I didn't know what I was getting myself in. I, <laughs> all right, now we shift to spaghetti. No, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo at a coffee, first of all, a coffee shop. They got pasta, this incredible pizza oven back there. I think I found my place. This is insane. I never would have thought I would have a flight of espressos and then some spaghetti. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe you guys serve this here. This is crazy. Scratch made too, which is wild. Espresso is an Italian thing. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, that's true. So it makes oh, pizza, pizza, pasta, pasta, and Italian coffee, basically. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Oh my god. Not me. Oh my god. Also, big chunks of chicken. Love that. Where am I? <laughs> what is this place? Who are you guys? Who are you people? Oh my god, it's gonna make me weep for joy. <laughs> am I the first person to drink coffee and then eat a pasta here? You are. <laughs> I'm the first one. And to follow up with our own alkaline water, you're definitely the first. <laughs> That's a good day. My wife Allie's gonna be like, what did you what are these leftovers you're bringing? I go, babe, I'm going to a smoothie bar. I'm gonna come home with fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> this is ridiculous, this is so, so good. It's creamy, it's not like too dense and too heavy, which a lot of fettuccines can be. The noodles are great, al dente. There's like plenty of spinach in it that's very well cooked. It's just very good, I don't know what else to say. All right, one more bite. I assume I'm eating more. Mm. This is what I envision when I go to Rome, I just wanna sit and do this. Oh my god, what a good what a good day. Also fantastic about this place. So much seating, different kinds of seating, big comfy chairs, regular tables for like business meetings, things like that. In River North, there's a lot of space here for things, but people always don't utilize it, I think in the best way. And this is a place you could get some work done, you could hang out, it feels good, very bright in here. You can watch all the tourists and people going to and from work. It's just a good, it's a good vibe in here. And when you get a coffee bean flying a plane, I mean, come on. People are gonna think I'm insane when I start telling them to go to a coffee shop for some of the best fettuccine Alfredo. What the hell? Wow. Okay. I said my last bite, what am I doing? Oh my God, that's so good. Oh God, it's so good. Oh my God, what's this? This is a matcha my lemonade, it's a refresher. <laughs> Love this girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you guys? What, are we, what is this? Where did you come from? Gee, what kind of pizza is this? That is a margarita pizza. Some of the most fun food and drink pairings I've ever had in my life. This is blowing my mind. It's nice to not only drink West Coast IPAs, guys, sometimes for the health and the refreshing. You know, we, we go another route. As you guys know, one of my favorite pizzas in the world, Margarita Pizza, was in Italy last year, filmed a ton of stuff there, and love pizza of all types. I like this take on it. This very, there's the undercarriage. Here's what we're looking at. Looks delicious. Pizza at a coffee shop. I know I've said it five times. We get it. Thin, let's go. Did not expect a crunch. Love that. I heard it. Oh my God, it's so good. Well, I just don't understand how you're doing all this. Like truly, I'm not getting paid to say that. I don't get it. Which is awesome. That is so good. Truly, the, like the win, the win here is the fact that you can get this at a coffee shop. Because like, imagine if you're like going to get a good coffee, sit here a while, you'd have to go somewhere differently for these foods. Like, this doesn't exist. America's gonna have no problem pairing all this stuff together. So this is not a problem. The crust is great. It's got a crunch on the bottom here. It's not just like a floppy pizza. That's like, oh, a coffee shop tried to do a pizza. It's like legitimately very good. Wow, pizza oven back there is the coolest thing in the world. I'm gonna steal that. This is so cool. I can't wait to tell people that this exists. I'm trying to think if there's anything in this neighborhood that even remotely compares. And the fact that you have the smoothie side too, like. And now we're on the Smoothie RX side. I got some sea moss to take home. I'm gonna get anti-age like a mother. Juices to go. Absolutely taking these with me. <laughs> Beef. Yeah, it's super acai. Super acai bowl. Thank you. And then Amazing. Thank you. I keep trying to use my college degree. It turns out being a YouTuber is just just keeps finding me, I guess. So the super acai bowl is the acai banana kiwi, strawberry, chia seeds, shaved almonds, almond butter, granola, and an agave drizzle. For the health, you guys. For the health. Can't be all pasta and pizza. Although I wish it would. Hard to look at you. I don't eat a lot of these on camera, as you know. Big acai bowl guy. Um, when I lived down in Jack's Beach, I would get one of these like three times a week, was obsessed. And now, if you live in River North, you can get it constantly. Honestly, just so gorgeous. Like, you eat with your eyes first, you know? Wow. Mm-hmm. As you know, big texture guy. This kind of hits it all. 
you got that cool, refreshing, cold base. But then you got the crunch from the granola, the texture of the banana, some of that almond. It all, it just like dances. This is like one of the most refreshing things to eat if you're obsessed with like texture in different forms. I hate just eating like one thing, one consistency. I remember as a kid, like as an after dinner treat, I would just eat those like pudding cups. That's psychotic when you think about it. <laughs> it's one of those things you can look at and you just know it's good because everything's fresh. Remember at the beginning of the video when I told you I was not eating until 1 p.m. today and eating all my calories in a two hour window? <laughs> Boy, do we have fun, huh? It's so good. Also, if this pertains to you, they can add Delta 8 THC, 10, 15, 25, or 40 milligrams to any smoothie juice or bowl. Oh, Chicago, we got there, huh? We sure did. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, so this was amazing, by the way. And what's this one called? Banana pudding. Love it, thank you. I am on cloud nine. A little banana pudding, huh? It's got cookies in there. Mm. I love a fat straw. <laughs> what a wild day. I've never eaten this combo of foods in this order ever in my life. I honestly feel like I might like this more than the bowl. I love banana so much. Okay, well, I gotta get out of here before they keep feeding me. Trying to get a hit a limit. The limit does not exist. All right, guys, well, thank you for coming along on this journey. Uh, we're gonna leave here together. How long of a walk is at home? Because I, I need to walk this off. 2.3 miles. We're, we're walking every bit of that. Thank you to Candace and Carlos for having me today. Absolutely check this place out. Like I said, I'm not getting paid to be here. This was just like a flavor blast on the entire spectrum. This is going to be my new coffee shop of choice when I'm in the area, and I'll pair that with a nice fettuccine Alfredo. Still not over that. Every food up, every food down. Be good to each other. Bye guys, thanks again, yeah. I think I ate everything in the place, it was great. <laughs> Have a good rest of the day, hope we see you soon. Thanks for all the help today. What a truly remarkable city, what a remarkable day. Got my to-go, walking home, beautiful Chicago River. You can't beat it, you guys, you can't beat it. I mean, this pasta is incredible. to like please so if you like it it's good i'm so intrigued by all of these different things like i want the strawberry superfood mm. the like cross per being so thin is still like so bouncy i was like genuinely impressed